Fall is here, and although inflation is crazy and inventory is low, there is a need. Families are still making sacrifices to invest in a place they can call home. On today's video, I want to talk about the top three benefits of purchasing in the fall. If you'd like to learn more, please stay tuned. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media at Erica Houston Realtor, Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, and TikTok and go to my website at www.ericahoustonrealtor.com. All right guys, so on today's video, we're talking the three benefits of purchasing a home in the fall. Number one, I'll be talking about the weather and home tours. Number two, we'll talk about fall discounts and negotiations. And number three, we'll talk about holidays and days off for your closing day. All right, so number one, weather in the fall and home showings. The fall is probably my favorite time of year to show properties because the weather is amazing. And because the weather in the fall is so amazing, typically we see families outside doing activities and we can ask them questions about the neighborhood, questions about the house, anything you might want to know before you purchase the home. Typically when the weather is better, people are also in better moods which makes it easier to make decisions when you're just in a better mood. Moving on to number two, which are fall negotiations. If you are purchasing a home in the fall, negotiations are a lot better. Builders are giving amazing incentives. They're giving closing cost money. They're giving discounts on the homes. Although builders are typically more flexible, homeowners are also being negotiable on the pricing. If you are shopping in the fall season, make sure you're taking advantage of the huge discounts that could be negotiated towards the end of the year. You can definitely start by calling your favorite realtor to help you with these negotiations. We do this every day and we know the negotiation strategies that work, so make sure you're reaching out to your real estate agent. Finally, number three, when you are shopping in the fall, you're able to use some of your holidays for closing your home and moving. Although people in the real estate field, like your realtors, loan officers, and title companies do take some days off, they don't take a bunch of days off. Normally, the holidays are very flexible. We're almost working every single day of the year. This is great for you because you're able to communicate with us which days are best for your closing day. If your kids are off from school during the winter holidays and fall holidays, you're also able to use that time to be able to have extra hands help you with the move. Make sure you're communicating with your realtor which days you prefer to close. That way you don't have to use your days off from work and receive no pay for them. I know this can be really hard for a lot of families. Taking days off are not the easiest. If you're able to use your holidays off to close your home, that would be amazing. If you're shopping in the fall, don't forget to schedule those times so it works for your schedule. All right guys, I appreciate you staying with me for this entire video. This fall, if you hear anyone at your office, at your family gatherings, mentioning anything about real estate, share my contact info, let them know that I used to be an educator and I love to educate. I think this is the most important part in real estate, the education piece. So if you throw that in there for me, maybe it'll help them make that decision to reach out. All my contact info will be at the end of the video. You can message me and I'll text you all my info as well. That way you can easily forward it to your family and friends. All the support is greatly appreciated. Thank you for being with me today and I can't wait to see you on next week's video. Thank you.